Hello Taurus, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look at general energies for the month of May 2022. Can I say happy birthday to you guys and I hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind this is a general reading so there will be messages that will resonate with you and some that won't and that's absolutely fine. And if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing as I do daily, weekly and monthly content. Taurus, you ready? Let's go. What's coming in for you? At the beginning of the month, at the middle of the month, and at the end of the month. Okay, let's get in let's get in line here. Alrighty. At the bottom we have strength. Alright. So this strength card is talking about your inner strength. What are your inner strengths for for current for current situation? And what I like is the lady is holding yet ever gently this lion's head, head. She's not, she's using the strength, but she's not abusing it. So this is kind of message that is coming through as well, that use your powers, be powerful, but please don't not overdoing it, as this can come back um, in maybe not the positive way. So however, the strength is really talking about bring your strengths out. Bring them out. Bring them everyone for everyone to see. What are the strengths? Whatever the strange, the strangest ones they could be. But please use use them. Alrighty. Are you ready? Let's go. What's coming in for the beginning of the month? Okay. So we have six of cups. And we have nine of wands. So it's interesting how it comes together with strength here. Because nine of wands has worked super hard to get all these nine wands. And it's kind of like a wall of um, achievements in ways, right? But you don't feel really satisfied yet. You know, something is really bothering you. So you are nearly at the end there, as it, as it is the nine. So you're nearly finishing line. But, there is a but. You may, one, you may have overworked and didn't have time for yourself. It could be that you as well spent so much time. You are so engrossed in whatever you're doing. You don't see the big picture, okay? So you maybe need to step back or have a little bit of time to kind of look, okay, what is the big picture here? All right? As we have as well, six of cups. It is kind of interesting energy. So there is some sort of, sometimes it's, it's a person from past. It is kind of very typical kind of um, explanation. But this might be that, you know what's interesting? It, Nine of Wands is looking backwards to West. West is in the past. So you are maybe looking back and maybe comparing yourself to someone or something. Okay, you're comparing, oh, someone else achieved much faster. Someone else already is here. Let's say at the age of extra, such and such, uh, the person was here and there. They had this and that, you know. There could be some sort of maybe um, com com you're comparing yourself to someone and maybe not the right kind of it doesn't give you the right emotions and energy surrounding here at the moment so uh keep doing whatever you're doing you know if look the past is great you know you can always go back to the past if that brings you positive vibes if that brings you good energies right middle of the month let's go what's coming in La <laughs> Wow, someone hitting a jackpot here because we having a nine of pentacles and ten of pentacles. So your hard work or just luck or both is hitting off. And nine of pentacles is talking about financial, but not just only financial, it's kind of manifestational independence, um, achieving things and the things are coming together, you know, and it's how interesting here we have two nines. So it is like a numerous synchronicity and it's you are nearly, 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 nearly there. And she feels so happy whatever she achieved. So it's kind of like contentment of uh, all the good of situation, of status, of good feeling of friends or family. So this is kind of good, good energy to have. And we have Ten of Pentacles. So this is kind of something to do with maybe family even because it's right next to the Six of Cups. Is someone from maybe you are actually getting ahead with uh, 
the thoughts that you were comparing yourself to someone and you find, maybe realize, okay, actually doing great, you know, and Ten of Pentacles is talking about manifestation. So things are really manifesting brilliantly. And it talks about as well, a legacy. It could be a legacy for your family, for long term. It could be some sort of whatever you're doing here and how you're kind of seeing this reading here. It could be going into the long term and you're building some legacy for generations to come, as we see a couple generations here. And it feels like that together, especially with the Nine of Pentacles, not just money is not on your mind, but it's kind of like, even if it still is in your mind, it feels that you are happy and content of the current situation. Let's go. End the month. Let's right jump in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Some news guys are coming in. And pretty quick. As we're having as well 8 and 8 right next to one another here. This is like double. Double happening. Definitely. And uh, this win here. It could be something that you are actually receiving a letter or... um from family from the past or uh, you might have some inheritance or any kind of something like that is something coming in you could be actually inheriting as well maybe a status at work right someone may be leaving and you may getting someone else's place and queen of cups queen of cups especially two queens right as, as a nine of pentacles i like to see as a queen because she has this kind of energy of her in there and together with nine pentacles and the queen of cups it's kind of there's a balance of material and emotional which is brilliant always good to see in the reading definitely and queen of cups knows how to weather storms how to be cool <laughs> at any situation how to um stay grounded and she's not just a pleasing people but she wouldn't get an argument so um especially when there's maybe some sort of news coming in Queen of Cups knows how to um, not to get either overexcited or anxious because there could be something new that you were not expecting. All right. Okay, Taurus, let's have a look. What is here for you guys? Let me clarify. Um, if this resonates with you, please thumbs up. And of course, if you like, comment. Okay. Timing. So you've been waiting for something here. And the timing is right. However, if you need to make any changes or decisions, please do not rush. If you can't make decision, that's absolutely fine. Trust the divine timing. Trust that the, the, the answer will come. Ask for guidance. But please don't rush. Please don't rush. And you are going for your goals. You're definitely going to your target. And you kind of hit that numbers and hit the uh hit a goal there and there's some sort of protection here so maybe especially if there's um some sort of money coming in be mindful who you share this with because not everyone might have a um your interest at heart and let's have a look towards what is here for you from angels wow new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. We were just talking about your strengths. What are your strengths? What are your talents and stuff? And regarding the psychic uh, uh, experiences and uh, abilities, you know, sometimes when some people have the ability, they've been teased for it. So maybe be mindful who you, again, who you share your um, ideas and ideologies with. Okay, so you don't get uh, laughed at or anything like that. So, but this is going to be an interesting month for you, Taurus. And what is coming here? Your spiritual teacher. Right, so there could be someone actually, some of you starting something that is going to influence in a good way. You know, you're like a nearly like a light worker. Uh, you are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken the spiritual gifts and divine life's mission. Um you definitely gonna, gonna be uh, like um, uh, not I wouldn't say influencer, but it's more of a inspiration to a lot of people with your actions, with your um, being cool and how you using it and not abusing your strengths. 
lovely reading Taurus. I'm going to leave you here and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye bye.